Hello guys, in this video, we are going to continue the previous video and create a broken mesh effect. Okay, first we need to create a mask module to gradually spawn the mesh from top to bottom. Add a particle position. And we need to transform position world to local. Then add a brick position because we only use Z axis. Okay, add a make position and we need a normalized distance range. Use this function, we can calculate the normalized distance between two positions and then compare to get a mask. Okay, add a float. This is another position. Of course, only use Z axis. Make position and connect it to start position. And we need a distance. When the distance between two positions reaches this value, one will be output. Okay, now let's compare the output value. When this value is greater than the value we set, output 1, otherwise output 0. Use this float to compare. Uh, this float should be height, and this one should be location. Okay. Add a select. If true, output 1. If false, output 0. Okay, add a float, receive our value. Let's rename it lerp, and namespace should be particles. Okay, apply and go back to Negra system. We can rename this module to mask and the distance should be the height of the mesh. So let's set it to 190. And height is the value we compare. If we want it to be spawned gradually, we should set this value from 1 to 0 and location, just simulation position, 000. zero, zero. We don't need to change it. Okay, now let's add a scale color to use our mask. Select particle lerp we just created to scale alpha. Okay, now we can see this effect. Let's see it in the level. Okay, looks good. Now let's add a broken effect. Add current noise force. Noise strength, we need multiply float. A is 100 and B is particle lerp. A mask. Now only the displayed particles are affected by the force. And add a vertex force. Again, we need to multiply the force by particle lerp. And the vertex origin its sample mesh position okay it looks good now let's change the noise strength 500 and the noise frequency to 20 also we need pan noise field just one okay it looks better Now let's add a scale split size to make it gradually smaller or disappear. And we spawn particles at the same time. The particles have almost disappeared when the display reaches the bottom. So we can't use curl. Select uniform. We can use the same way as mask. Use normalized distance range, add a lerp. And alpha, we use the normalized distance range. Start position is sample mesh position, and end position is particles position. Distance, we can set it to 50. And A is 1, B is 0. Okay, let's see it in the level. 
Now the particles will gradually become smaller. We can also add color changes, used the same way in scale color. A is 111, the base color, and B is 111. Okay, the color is changing, uh, maybe 1000. Make it brighter. Yes. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.